Yo, what's good, my boys? I want to welcome y'all back to another episode of Stains World, man. We back at it with another video, man. If you couldn't tell, we back at the, you know, the headquarters, my room, aka Stains World's headquarters, secret undercover layer. But yeah, man, man, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. But, dog, today... I'm going to be telling y'all about my experience on getting tattoos. Not only my experience, some tips too, just in case you, just in case you plan on getting tattooed soon and you like, damn, what should I do? What should I expect? And yada, yada, yada. And for real, for real, this is going to be a shorter video and it was supposed to come out last week, but your boy got, you know, your boy got a new, a new piece done. And I ain't going to lie, after that session, bro, I don't know if I didn't eat enough or something. I was feeling drained, my boys. I went to go get my my uh my little ointment, my soap to wash my tattoo. And oh my god, I tell you, bro, I got home, I ate, went straight to bed. I couldn't even do nothing. But we here with it now. And you know, I'm going through that little itching phase, man. Itchy, the burn is gone, but the itch is there, starting to peel and everything. But we're gonna get right into this video. But before we do, if you got some fire ass ink. Are you planning on getting some fire ass ink? Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification button and stay in tune with your man. Let's get it. All right, man. So if you couldn't tell, dog, like in the last couple months, man, I got a couple tattoos. I mean, I only got two, but they was they was like you know significantly you know like good size pieces and all that. So. Your boy, your boy got a little experience, a little advice I could give y'all to make y'all experience a little bit better or like to like, you know, make you calm down or like give you the reality of getting tattoos, man. But like for real, for real, the first tat I got, I feel like the, the session, it wasn't that painful. It wasn't as painful as I thought in my mind. Don't get me wrong. It's going to hurt. Don't think like you're going to go. It's not going to hurt. You're going to take like a champ. You might be able to. But like for me, bro, it didn't hurt at first. But it got, you know, it got gradually worse as the skin got started getting a little bit more irritated after getting poked for like, you know, seven or six hours or something like that. But yeah, like, so when I first got my tattoo, it was kind of like literally the same day I got back from Colombia. Like y'all seen that whole vlog, your boy was lit and everything the whole time. Like, and this was due to poor planning, why my tattoo session went a little bit more painful than I thought it was going to go to. It was because, like, right? So, I'm going to give you my state of mind, right? I was in Colombia, dog. And I was like, yo, I was telling my mans, I think one of my, I'm pretty sure it was one of my boys from New York, one of the New Yorkians, you know. I'm talking to him. I'm like, yo, I really don't want to leave, but I'm low-key looking forward to going back because I'm going to get my first tattoo done. And I was excited about it. All my mans already had tattoos. And stuff like that they probably got them young like at a younger age than i did but i you know it was my turn it was my time my time to get yatted my time to get inked up but like right as we're having a conversation i'm telling them i'm like yeah bro we i'm about to get tattooed and yada 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 they're like oh bro what day you getting tattooed and i'm like oh uh i'm pretty sure i think it was like july 13th or, i don't know july something it was july something bro right and I'm like, yeah, it was July something. I was like, oh, where? I was like, yeah, well, let me check the day. And then, like, I checked the day. And what my dumb ass realized, bro, what my stupid ass realized, bro, at that moment was that I booked my tattoo session the same day I was coming back from Colombia. Because when I was looking at the times and everything, like, it said we were leaving, I think, on, like, the 12th or something like that. But we were going to be back in the United States on the 13th at 4 in the morning, which I didn't see. Because it said that we were leaving on the 12th. I didn't peep that we were going to arrive the next day. So that means I wasn't going to get like one day to chill like I thought. That means literally I'm going to get back to New York. Uh, to I think we touched down at JFK. I'm gonna get back to New York, and then I have to. We have to drive to Philly to get back to Philly, and I'm probably gonna get home like at six in the morning after getting to the airport or getting out of the airport at four. And my tattoo sessions at ten, so I gotta be up at nine to get ready and leave. So that means that left me with like, and you know, you settle down, you get home, yeah, put all your baggage in the crib and all that stuff. Like, so that means it got. I had two hours, bro. I had two hours 
to sleep basically bro and that's a no-no bro first first tip i'm gonna tell y'all guys before y'all go to your um tattoo session make sure y'all sleep a full eight hours like as much sleep as you could get for real for real so you don't be uncomfortable and then two make sure you eat bro because that's a, those are the first two mistakes i made i got home i'm tired as shit bro i was on a plane for like i don't even remember if it was like six or four hours something like that i'm tired as shit bro we leave mad late or and something yeah bro we leave mad late and then we get back home like like in the middle of the night basically four in the morning basically the morning and then get back to philly at six bro bad job i'm telling you so i'm tired of shit i knock out boom my alarm's ringing going crazy so it's like 9 20 bro i'm supposed to be up at nine so i could like you know transition smoothly into getting my uh my tattoo and going to get into my session i'm like nah that's not how it went my boys you feel me i got there I um, I mean, I got home and see, I fell asleep. I woke up, and then like I think I ate like, sheesh, like two pieces of toast and a yogurt, bro. And like, bro, for a six to eight hour session, bro, that ain't it, bro. It ain't it. And on top of that, I'm tired as hell, bro. I'm like, damn, I should chalk this whole joint, but I'm like, nah, it's my first tat, and like, I kind of didn't want to seem like a flake. You feel me, like? Especially if you're going to be getting tats from the same person for a while, you don't want to end up like a flick. You don't want to have a bad reputation. I want to be on time. I want to make it to my appointment and all that and all that. I don't want to cancel, basically. So, boom, right, bro? I'm there. And at the time, I didn't have the whip ski. So, your boy basically ate that yogurt as fast as I could. Eat them two pieces of toast and some water. And I straight got there, bro. And it was time, bro. I got to the place. I walked in. And then... He was like, um, I think he was showing me like, what well, was tough too is cause like, you know, you see probably, you probably, if you looking for tattoos, you probably looking at the internet when you like and stuff. So I'm showing him bro, it's this John right here, right? So I'm pretty nice. The roses came out nice and everything. Like it came out probably better than what I thought it was gonna come out. So like he basically redesigned it, like put new roses on it and everything like that. And then showed me right before. So he was like, yeah, I didn't want to give you the same thing that other people got. Cause he was like, you mean I wanted to make a little bit more unique for you. So I was like, oh, all right, say best. So I already liked where it was going. You know, the whole re uh, redesign shit, it looked unique. So boom, I lay down and basically I thought it was going to be like me probably going to put my arm down and I was going to be sitting like this the whole time I'm getting tatted. Nah, bro. It was different from what I expected. I had to lay down on my stomach and it wasn't too uncomfortable, but it was a different position than what I thought in my head. So I'm like, all right. And then like right before I'm going in, I'm not anxious, but I'm a little nervous because, you know, I ain't never get tatted before. I don't know what this is like. I don't know. Everybody telling me about all these needles and ink and stuff like that. And the white ink going to hurt. So they telling me all this shit, bro. So I'm like, all right. I don't know how painful this going to be and all that. But you mean we just don't have to go through it. We're going to thug it out and it's going to come out fire. That's the whole thing I kept telling myself in my head when, like, if, before, like, I panicked before it started. I was like, it's going to come out fire. That's You got to keep a positive mentality because you about to go through a couple hours of pain. So I'm like, it's going to hurt, but it's cool. It's going to come out fire. And honestly, bro, honestly, to tell you, bro, the first, like, I think three maybe four hours, it didn't really hurt that much. Like, with the pain that I would describe it as is like if you take your fingers and then you go like this really hard, but like, you gotta make it burn. It kind of feels like that. Like, not not exactly, but I kind of, I think that's to stimulate the feeling of it. It's just like a burning sensation if you take an eraser type, type shit. I don't know, something like that, but that's how it kind of feels. It burns a little bit. It doesn't hurt too much. It's just really annoying for real, for real. And on this side, bro, honestly, in the position my arm was in, it kind of went numb. I honestly was not feeling too, too much pain the first John, like, so even to the point, and people, I'm up two hours of sleep, so I'm tired as shit, bro, and I didn't eat. I'm telling you now, bro, while he was tattooing me and stuff, I was literally, like, laying down on my stomach. I don't know if it was the position I was in. I don't know if I was mad tired, but I'll tell you now, bro, at least for two or three hours of the session, bro, I nodded off, bro. Like, I was, like, that type of sleep where you, like, you're knocked, and then you wake up a little bit, and then you go back to sleep. Like, literally, bro, for, like, two hours, I was in and out of a daze. I was dumb tired, so it kind of made the session go by fast because, like, 
when I looked, I think I started at 10 a.m. When I looked, it was like three or four o'clock. So I'm like, oh, say less. I don't got that much time in my session left. So when I wake up, I'm just, you know, watching podcasts, watching YouTube, doing my thing for real, just chilling. But peep game, I'm thinking it's all cool. I'm thinking it's all sweet. And then like, you know, after a while, your skin starts getting irritated. So the feeling starts getting a little stronger. I'm like, damn, bro, this John, this John starting to burn, bro. And I tell you not, it started burning. It started hurting. I started feeling it, but it wasn't hurting until a point where I was like, oh, this is impossible. This is unbearable. It still wasn't adding up to the uh, pain I had in my head. Cause like you probably like play up the pain too much before you go. But like for real, for real, it wasn't hurting that much, but it, it was like more annoying than it was painful. Like your skin's constantly getting poked for like hours and hours on end. So you're like, oh damn. Like you could kind of just want to stop, especially when you don't eat and stuff like that. You like, damn, it's kind of little, it's kind of little herpes. I kind of want this to be done. And if you start thinking like that, that's where shit goes wrong. So, you know, another tip, bro, just definitely don't look at, I know it's going to be tempting, but don't look at your arm while you getting tatted bro you look at that needle it's gonna freak you out a little bit don't do it bro put the movie on your phone put some music on your earphone stare out in the distance or stare to your video on youtube bro or like netflix or whatever the hell you watching whatever you mean but like stick to what you're watching to distract you and time gonna fly it's going by properly and now this is where it get crucial bro the last hour the, the part that everybody probably hear about is the white ink and why it hurts and stuff like that. I don't know if it's more needles or something because I really never asked. But it definitely has to do a part with um like your skin being irritated after um it getting like tattooed for so long, bro. Because I tell you not, my G's. Like, I think it was that last hour. Like, and basically, I've been laying down on my stomach for six hours straight, bro. And I didn't want to tell him, like, yo, could I get up really fast? Because I'm like, he probably concentrated right now. He's doing a good job. I don't want him to fuck my arm up. I don't want him to stop his workflow. But, like, that last hour, bro, my back hurted and my legs were, like, low-key, like, uncomfortable because I was laying down in that position so long. My shoulder was hurting, too, because it was, like, stretched out like this for, like, literally six hours. So I told him, I'm like, yo, bro, like, I got to get up, bro. Um my arm hurt like my arm hurt. i got stretched really fast and he was like yeah bro that's perfectly fine like i was he he started laughing he started laughing bro this is, this is the thing that had me dying he started laughing he was like yeah bro honestly i'm surprised you ain't get up sooner especially for your first day you just dug that out for six hours i just thought you didn't want to get up i was like nah bro i just didn't know i could get up so that shit was funny as hell i got up he gave me like 15 minutes to recoup and stuff which i thought was cool because like i thought it was gonna be like a quick two minutes but he was like yeah bro take like 15 minutes to chill get ready blah blah and then like he started finishing up and then, like, right before he started getting into the white ink, he was like, yo, bro, take another 15 because you ain't get up this whole time to chill. So I thought that was tough, bro. I got to stretch. I got to chill. Like, the whole time I had to pee, too, because I didn't pee before my session. So I was just there like, damn. And you mean the white ink was coming? I think he said, oh, we're almost done. We just got to do the white ink. I was like, damn, this white ink about to be painful, bro. But... I was like, the good thing about the white ink, it might be painful, bro, but when you hear that white ink coming, that's the final touch-up, so you know your tattoo about to be done, so you know you about to be home free and go home, you mean? So, I got my, I got the white ink, it definitely did hurt, like, it had my, like, one of my eyes like this, squeezing one of my eyes, it just had my arm out like, you mean? But eventually, boom, I was done. I got up off the chair, but like when I stood up, like peep, I ain't eat nothing. I only drank one bottle of water. I lost a lot of blood. I barely slept. I woke up, I was, not woke up. I stood up and bro, I was mad, dizzy and lightheaded. Hey, like, you know, he want to take pictures of his work and stuff to post. So I was like, that's cool. He was, I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, I ain't gonna lie though. I'm, I feel mad lightheaded. So boom. So he did that, he took the pictures. Uh, he cleaned me up after he like put some like disinfectant stuff on there, like some antibacterial soap, some ointment and stuff. And boom, we was home free, bro. We went home, we thugged it out, and we was gone, man. But 
what y'all gotta remember too, bro, is not just about like preparing for the session and everything like that, eating, getting ready, make sure you have enough sleep, knowing what to expect, distracting yourself while you getting your tattoo so it'll go by more smoothly. That's not all, bro. Most important thing is the aftercare too. Like when you get done, I would say you leave the wrap on for like if you're gonna be out and about driving or probably getting food or picking people up or something like that. Keep the wrap on, the ceramic wrap that they wrap around your arm for as um you know like until you're able to get home, clean it, rub some ointment on it, and yada yada yada. But yeah, you gotta make sure you clean your tat. You got to make sure you put your ointment on. You, you know, you got to make sure you stay on top of it um, so your tattoo don't get infected, bro. Because at the end of the day, it's a commitment to get a tattoo because it's the rest of your life. But on top of that, bro, you don't want to not take care of it properly. It gets infected. It ruins your ink. And then you got to ruin tattoo for the rest of your life. You don't want that. You don't want them type of problems. So, man, stay on top of it. But from my first tattoo experience, that kind of that kind of sums it up. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. And if y'all could, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification button to stay in tune with your boy, man. Join La Familia, gang. Join La Familia. We'll be back with another video real soon, my jeez.